14 of the fantasy basketball season. And here's a few guards I'd look to trade for and buy this week. The first guy, Tyler Hero of the Miami Heat. So Tyler Hero, it's been a pretty good season for him. But right now, he's been entered on the health and safety protocol list here. Is Hero. And over the last week now, the cases around the league have gone down and pretty much... Most of the players have got it, so right here, maybe a few guys, they'll get it here and there, but right now, at least, I think, for fantasy basketball, at least, we're through the tougher times of the season, where a lot of people on the safety and protocol list on the season here for Hero, 20.7 points a game, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, 2.6 threes a game, and 43% from the field, so this season here... He's just taking off even more his scoring and three-point shooting here as Hero. And the last few games before he went out on the protocol was January 14th versus the Hawks. 24 points, two rebounds, three assists, four threes, 43% from the field. January 15th versus Philly, 16 points, two rebounds, three assists, two steals, two threes, 36% from the field. And January 17th versus the Raptors, 23 points. Four rebounds, three assists, two steals, a three, and 50% from the field. So right now, while he's on the protocol list, probably going to be five to ten days, obviously, depending how he reacts and stuff here, is Hero. He's a player that right now, this is going to be the lowest point for him where you could buy him on a little bit of discount since he's going on the safety and protocol list because we know he could score the basketball. We know he's a good three-point shooter. And if you need those categories, I think I would go out there good trade and try to get Hero on my roster because he's taking the next step this season, no doubt about it. And he's definitely a player you want to part of your fantasy team because he can help you out in many ways. The next guard I look to buy and trade for this week, Zach Levine of the Chicago Bulls. So Levine here, he's out with a knee injury and he's not going to travel on the upcoming three-game road trip here for the Bulls. So Levine's last ball game was January 12th and another guy Obviously, you could get him on a little bit of discount since he's been banged up and injured. But obviously, one of the better scorers in all the NBA. 25 points a game, 4.8 rebounds, 4.2 assists, 2.9 threes a game. And a pretty solid 49% from the field here for Zach Levine. So we know he could score the basketball. We know he's the best player, most likely, on the Chicago Bulls. Even though this roster this season is stacked, obviously. But right here, he's still the leader of that team in my opinion. And if you need scoring and a consistent player, you definitely go out there and get Levine. And right now with him injured, missing at least the next three games, like I mentioned, you could buy him on a little bit of discount. So the last few games for Levine, January 9th at Dallas, 20 points, two rebounds, two assists, two steals, two threes, 33% from the field. January 11th versus Detroit, 10 points, nine boards, seven assists, a steal, two threes, 30% from the field. And January 12th in his last ball game, he played 22 points versus Brooklyn. A rebound, six assists, a steal, a block, two threes, and 61% from the field. So right now, if you want to make a trade, I would go out there and try to make a deal for obviously Zach Levine while he's out. Because once he comes back, you know the deal. He's going to go out there and score. He's going to put up big numbers, and he's going to be a top 20, top 30 fantasy player the rest of the season. And the third and final guard I look to buy and trade for this week is Cole Anthony of the Orlando Magic. So Cole Anthony, he got off to a great start early in the season before he was injured and went down here as Anthony on the season. Pretty good numbers, except his field goal, 18.7 points a game. 6.2 rebounds, 5.9 assists, 2.4 threes a game, and 39% from the field. So his scoring's definitely boosted up from last season at 13 a game to 18.7 this year here because his three-point shooting's definitely improved. Last year, he was only hitting 1.2 a game, and now he's doubled that at 2.4. But over the last few weeks here, his numbers have dropped 13.1 points a game, 6.9 rebounds, 6 assists, 1.6 threes, and only an awful 31% from the field. So Anthony, I think he's going to get things going once again. He's been playing now this whole month after he was out for an extended period of time with protocol issues and the injury. So the last few games here for Anthony, January 15th at Dallas, 12 points, four rebounds, three assists, two threes, 50% from the field. January 17th versus the Blazers, nine points, nine rebounds, six assists, a steal with three, 23% from the field. And January 19th at Philly, 13 points, four boards, eight assists, a three, and 42% from the field. So his scoring's obviously went down here as Anthony. I know Jalen Suggs is back in the lineup, and he's a good 
dynamic scorer as well at the guard position. But to start with, I don't even think you had to give up much for Anthony. And now with a few poor games in a row, his value's definitely dropped off a little. But he's still a player I want on my roster because he's definitely improved in his second season in the NBA. And he's a guy I think could get things going once again. So that's a few guards I look to buy here for week 14 of the fantasy basketball season.